What's good guys, Medical Gamer over here, bringing you more Pokemon Sun and Moon news. This time, a quote unquote leak from the Chinese Riddler. Now, I know the Chinese Riddler said that they would no longer be giving leaks, but they are still dropping hints. As you can see, this is the updated, um, the updated Alolan Pokedex. They have all the new Pokemon up here in this giant chart and the old Pokemon that we've seen or they've mentioned in the game in this bottom chart. Now, I'm not going to focus too much on the bottom chart because not much has changed there. So don't worry about that for now. But I'm going to focus on the top because we do have some new information, some new leaks, some new riddles, and I kind of want to just go over it with you guys, you know, analyze it, all that good stuff. So we do have the updated Pokemon with the new trailer. We have the Cutie Flies Evolution. We have two of Bound Suites Evolutions. We do have the evolution for type Null, and we do have Jangmao's two evolutions. So those are all brand new, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys right here is right here they have Salandit's evolution. Now, I know I made a video about the Chinese Riddler giving a hint, leak, whatever you guys want to call it, about the evolution of Salandit resembling either Cleopatra or the Ninetail Fox or Medusa or a Siren. Now, as you can see right here, they only have one ch one square right next to Salandit. So does this mean that Salandit only has one evolution and the evolution will only be female? I think that that's what it means, but you never know because the Chinese Riddler sometimes just doesn't include the boxes. So maybe if there's a male and female evolution, they're just not including the male split. So you never know, but I think that this is kind of indicating that there is only a female evolution for Salandit. So the next thing that I want to point out is that but over here they used to have a picture of just a toucan, you know, like Toucan Sam. But now they have a picture of the person wearing the shirt with the toucan over there. I can zoom in a little bit more for you guys. It's going to get a little blurry, that's the only reason I didn't want to zoom in too much. But over here, you can see there's a Toucan over there on the shirt. So, still a riddle for Toucan Sam, but we have not seen that Pokemon yet. Now, the next thing that I want to point out. So, we do have Tapu Koko and two more Island Guardians, as well as the third Island Guardian. So, that's a, that's a total of four Island Guardians. So, this Pokemon right here, whoever they are trying to riddle, is before the Island Guardians. It is not one of the Island Guardians. So, you see Fire... So I feel like it's going to be some sort of fire type. Now there's not much in the picture. It just looks like fire with a black background. There's not too much else to see or indicate. So I feel like it's going to be a fire type Pokemon. But there's not really much to go off of there. And once again, it is not one of the Island Guardians because they do already have Tapu Koko, two question marks, and this little statue right here for the four Island Guardians. So... An Island Guardian is not going to be fire type necessarily. And like we thought, there like there's gonna be electric fairy, ghost fairy, psychic fairy, and uh the last one. <laughs> I forgot I forgot what the last one is, but I, I I mentioned it in my other videos. Now, the last thing that I, I actually um they also showed the Alolan Grimer, the Alolan Muck. Now you guys know. So the last thing that I wanted to show you guys was this right here. Now for those of you guys who don't know, I only figured this out right now because I asked one of my friends who knows a little bit of Chinese to translate for me. So this symbol right here on top of this red X is Fang. So it's F-E-N-G. So this symbol represents Fang in Chinese. And now I'm going to just really quick pull up the definition. So Fang means to confer, to grant, to bestow a title, to seal, or classifier for sealed objects. Now. I think of all those definitions, if you see a red X, that usually means like sealed, it's either like do not cross or sealed away. So I think that Fang means to seal in this instance because there's no context, it's just a red X. And red X is usually seal. Like if you're sealing moves, like I think um, in some Pokemon games, it might be in the Mystery Dungeon games, when you get your move sealed, there's like a red X that comes onto you. So I think that that means to seal. Now, this is in between the UBs and Magirna. So this is really, really interesting because I think that the Chinese Riddler is trying to indicate a new Ultra Beast because you see that in the old, the old Chinese Riddler Pokedex or this grid, whatever you want to call it, the UBO2 Beauty was right next to Magirna. So this red X was not there before and it just got inserted in between UBO2 Beauty and Magirna. So I don't know what it means, but... Fang means to seal, and the red X is basically like sealed away, do not cross. So maybe 
there's some UB that's sealed up and some people are trying to release it or something like that or somebody put a seal on the UB and the other UBs are trying to free this this Pokemon maybe this Ultra Beast is trapped in our dimension and the Ultra Beast from the other dimension are coming in order to free this Ultra Beast I have no idea this really could mean anything but this is a really really interesting riddle and I think once we get a little bit more information it might be easier for us to decipher it and try to figure out what this red X seal fang means now Whatever you guys think it might be, let me know in the comment section. I'm very, very interested to hear your theories because I'm not too sure. I just suggested a few of my a few theories of my own. Maybe let's just suggest another one. Maybe that the Ultra Beasts are trying to stop Pokemon, like sealing away Pokemon. I don't think that that's what it is. I think it's more likely one of my former theories that I said in the beginning about um, the UBO2 being uh, not the UBO2, the Ultra Beast being sealed away or something like that. That is really, really cool and. It'll be interesting to figure out what it is, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up down below, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to get out of here. Peace.